सपोज सपोज दिस इज वन नेटवर्क एंड दिस इज वन नेटवर्क यर बी दीज आर द राउटर्स इन बिट्वीन एज्यूम यू हैव वन राउटर हियर दीज आर द कनेक्टेड इन दिस मैनर सो वेन एवर यू हैव ए सपोज यू आर सेंडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर दिस इज द सोर्स दिस इज द डेस्टिनेशन एंड यू विल प्रिपेयर द डेटा देन यू विल एड सोर्स आई डी देन डेस्टिनेशन आई डी यू विल एड assume that after reaching this packet at this router 1 router 2 router 3 router 4 after reaching at router 1 assume that there is no network uh, entry whatever there in this net destination point so by default it will select default router assume that this is the default router for this for r1 default router assume is R4. Then <coughs> same case is exist at R4. Just assumption. Assume that it also don't have any entry about the network uh, which is mentioned in the network uh, IP address in this packet. So it is also have one default address. So it will forward to R2 is assume it's a default uh, router. So it will forward to here. So same case assume. But at R2 also, but its default router is assume this one. So if you see here, this is cycle. So whenever one packet is came to here, which is not known to this router, it is forwarding to this one by selecting default route entry. Same case here, same case here. So this packet keep on uh, rotating in this circuit. so this will lead to first thing is this packet will not deliver to the destination the second thing is this will cause to the network path and third thing is it will make the routers busy so for this solution is ttl time to leave so is this concept is it will set while sending some packet from here it will set some time assume that 180 seconds some time on this packet itself assume in between it will it is taking 10 seconds to reach here whenever this packet is reached to r1 it will deduct by using time stamps it will came to know that high mode time to travel between these two then that time will reduce from this part then it will set a new time as 1 second 170 seconds then as part of the this one it will look in the router table so it, no entry for this so it will forward to the default router so r4 so whenever reach here assume this is also taking 10 seconds so here also same whatever done by r1 r4 also will do same thing so it will reduce it will become 160 for sake of simplicity takes 10 seconds at each edge so here also 10 seconds here also 10 seconds it will take from here to here on average case so like this it will also send to r2 so by while sending this one it will set 150 now even though it is rotating here after some circulations it will lead to zero assume after reaching r4 after finding the time this time and after deduction you find that you came to know that ttl is zero ttl is zero or less than zero or so possible okay so at that time r4 will simply discard that packet so that you avoided infinite looping you avoided network traffic and you make free the routers because it processing every time this packet it will take some time 
so that is unnecessary actually and then while discarding you will use some mechanism we will see in the later sections while discarding this packet it will give acknowledgement to the actual source so that source came to know that this particular packet is not delivered to the destination then source will decide what to do further so this is in the in the case of ttl for the infinite looping this is the solution 